Here's how to install WinRAR for free for whatever Windows you're running, 10 or 11. If this video helps you, please consider subscribing and let's begin. Now, the first step is to click the first link in the description, which is going to place you in this page. You could also search it up, but if you want to come here quick, just click that link in the description. Now, in this page, if you want to download the latest version of the WinRAR installer, you could click on this button right here or select it from here on the latest WinRAR and RAR versions English. But if you want to download a different language, you could go ahead and filter out by your language. And if you're running a different system, like a 32-bit system, you could change the architecture right here. In my case, I'm running a 64-bit system and I want it on English, so I'm going to download the latest WinRAR. Go ahead and click on this button here and the download for the WinRAR installer will begin right away. Now, once you have downloaded that file, you can find it here on your recent download history or the default downloads folder in your computer. Go ahead and place the file in the desktop. And now with that file in our desktop, we are ready to begin installing WinRAR. The first thing you want to do is double click on it. You might get an admin prompt. Unfortunately, my recording software doesn't pick it up, but if you do, just go ahead and press allow or yes, and it will open the installer right here. In here, press next. Now, you could choose the ECC setup, which is what I'm going to do. Or if you want to change the installation folder of WinRAR, you could choose custom setup. In this case, I'm going to leave it on easy setup and then click next. Now feel free to read through the ULA agreement. And if you agree, hit I accept and then hit next one more time. And now just wait for WinRAR to install. This should be fairly simple. After WinRAR has finished, it will put you in this screen right here where you could start WinRAR when you close the installer, or you could create a desktop shortcut or even create a start menu shortcut. I'm going to unselect these two in here, but you are more than welcome to keep them on if you like. I'm just going to leave it a start WinRAR on and then hit finish. And then since I selected to open WinRAR is going to open right away. Now you could close the first use notification in here and you could use WinRAR for free. Now you could delete the installer from your desktop because we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to show you how to zip a file with WinRAR. Let's say you want to zip this folder. Just right click on it and you should see WinRAR right here. And if you don't see WinRAR right here, you could click on show more options and then you should see WinRAR right here. And now you could add to new folder.rar, which is a zip file, or you could unzip it if this file was to be unzipped already. Anyways, guys, if this video helped you out, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.